Hello, it is Friday the 29th of March 2024, which is Good Friday. Welcome to today's News Talk TNT and uh, the David Curtin Show here uh, this morning. Now, in the news media in the UK, there is very little big news going on. There is some stories about Easter and all I can see is that some people are complaining that the price of cocoa has gone up, which means chocolate is going to be more expensive, which means that it's going to be harder to buy Easter eggs and chocolate in a few months going forward from here. Now, this is all just fluff and nonsense, to be honest. I mean, Easter and Good Friday is not about chocolate eggs and Easter bunnies. Today is the day that we remember the Lord Jesus Christ and his death on the cross 2,000 or so years ago. And in churches around the country, people will be remembering Jesus Christ and his death. And they will be talking about what the Bible says about him and the message of Easter and the Christian message itself as well. Some churches will do that well. Unfortunately, some churches are so woke that they won't actually give you the proper message. But just in case you are not going to a church that is going to give you the Easter message, let me summarise that here for you today. And of course, I have to declare I am a Christian. So <laughs> this is the day when I will normally be uh, in church and giving thanks to God for what he did on Good Friday. Now, of course, if you know the Bible, there are some key verses which tell us the Christian message. And the first of those is in Romans 3.23, which says, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So whatever we are, wh whoever we are as a person, every one of us has done something that is wrong, that is what we call, the Bible calls, sinful, which then takes us away from being in a right relationship with God, our creator. Later on in Romans 6.23, it says the wages of sin is death, which means that because we sin and because we are in a human condition that causes us to sin naturally we do these things then we experience death and we go to a lost eternity but the good news is in 1 John 1 chapter 9 it says um, if we confess our sins uh, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness so all we need to do is go to Jesus and say I've done something wrong and a lot of people struggle with guilt all their life and don't ever find out this is the tragedy that there is forgiveness in God for things that they've done wrong and he can cleanse us from our unrighteousness and guilt just by confessing our sins to him and repenting of our sins and getting right with God and maybe the most famous verse in the Bible is John 3 16 which says for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life and that is the great promise of Christianity and that is the great promise that we have in God through Jesus dying in our place taking the penalty for the things that we've done wrong so we don't have to suffer so he can save us from sin and death and hell and put us in a right relationship with God and help us to have a good life and a, a peaceful life in our souls whatever happens outside and whatever things come our way from the external world world. Obviously, we've had dreadful times over the last four years in the West. We're not yet at the point where people are being tortured and killed for their faith or for saying things that are deemed to be Christian by the authorities, like you might get in countries like Iran or China or North Korea. But we're on the way there. People are now being arrested for praying in the public highway um, for the lives of unborn children in abortion centres, for example. People are being harassed by the police for standing up for traditional marriage and the scientific notion of truth of biological sex. Things are going absolutely crazy in our world. And a lot of us instinctively understand that we are in a spiritual battle between good and evil. This is not just something that is material. It's not just something which is legal and political. We're in a spiritual battle as well. And the way to win this 
is to come to the Lord Jesus Christ, who has already won that battle. And the ultimate victory that he has over the forces of evil is secure and sure it will happen. But we're going through battles at the moment. We haven't won the war, but we can rely on him and come to him and pray into those things which are going wrong and pray against evil and give those things to him because he has ultimate victory. And that will help us to win the battles that we do face, both on a personal level uh, against the things which are oppress us and against our own sin, against our own run righteousness as well, as well as coming on board <laughs> the redemption that he has for us. And this is why uh, the word saved is often used in Christianity. If you come to Jesus and you give your life to him and you accept him as your Lord and Savior, you are saved. You're saved from hell, you're saved from sin, you're saved from the penalty of sin. And that is truly the best news that we could ever have. And it comes to you here on today's News Talk on Good Friday.